In this video, I'm going to show you how to make robots that are flexible. So we'll still use some very simple motors, classical motors, but in the middle of them, we will have parts that can bend, that can elongate, that are soft, so they can, it's, it's nice, for example, to work on different grounds. So to make these robots, basically, you need to have links that are flexible, but still that you can attach to your motors. And for that, we'll just embed inside the soft part, a hard connector. So in the end, here inside, I have this connector. So to do this, you simply have to make a mold. So that's the shape of my part with at each and at each end, you have space to put your connector. So I put my connector inside. I use a hollow rivet in my case to maintain it in place. Place. I clip it. We put all of them, two of them. You have a mold with the parts ready to be embedded in the silicon. You pour your silicon inside. You wait for a day. You unmold it. And then you have a part that you can join to any to any robot. So it's really it's really flexible. You can remove it and put another one. You can reuse it in another project. It's not a one-time thing. So in the following, I will show you how I made this robot. So to make the parts, we need molds, and in those molds, we may, we will inject some silicon. So the idea is you will have in these small parts, okay, that will be inserted inside the mold. So there will be some silicon that will wrap this part and this part will still be accessible to punch some of this tiny part from robotics that will adapt to the motors. So the idea is this is a mold. We will stick one on each side. We will maintain them with the clips and the clips are important because if you don't put all of them, then some silicon will leak out of the mold. And then we'll pour the silicon and we'll wait for a day and we should, at the end, demold the soft part that we'll be able to fix between the XL320. So let's mount this. So this part is a bit tricky, right? because the idea is we need this, this will be a kind of fit, you know, shape of a hole, and we need this to stand on top of it. So what I did is I just did a cover, we will stick that to the cover, and the cover will position it properly. So here we are, we're ready, we have the molds, we just have to pour some materials and wait. So now it's time to pour the silicon. So I'm trying with this one, Ecoflex, also it's something you can buy in quite small volume. So it's based on two mixture, part A, part B, you mix them 50-50 and then you pour it into the mold and you wait for, this one is four hours, but you wait for a day and then you can demold it. So now that the difficult part, you want to do this. So what you will do is you put a bit, 
then you close and then you fill the gap. Okay, so here we go. The mold is dry and everything is embedded. We just have to unmold it. And here we have it. Our first flexible link. Let's do the other one. Let's assemble them. The first step to do is to have the, the zero line. So So here you are, you have your robots that assembled. You just need to add the connection between the motors, a simple hub, and then all the uh, electronics to control it. But that, that is provided by the project, and there is some example of code to produce this nice movement.